Hey guys, and welcome back, or welcome to uh, Empire Deluxe. If you didn't watch episode zero, don't worry if you didn't watch it. I uh, will explain how the game works in this episode. So, here we are. The game has just started. We are on turn one, as you can see up here in the left corner. Turn one. The ten is different. That doesn't uh, mean that it's turn ten. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. What we have here is our one city, Jutland. It has an efficiency of 100, so it's kind of an average city, but it's a good one. It's a good one. And uh, we need to expand. In this world, there's 53, I think, cities total. And we are going to um, check and see if we can take those before our opponents do. There are five other opponents in the game. All AI. One, the blue one. We are red, as you can see. The blue one is going to be the tricky one, the dark blue. If you see that guy... We have to watch out. He has a production advantage over us and over everybody else, actually. All the other AIs have a combat advantage over me. And that includes the blue one as well. So everybody's doing better than I am. So we have to really be on our... We really have to watch out here to not get eliminated early on. If I do, well, I might start over, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So we're on an island here, Jutland. And I can see out here... Hmm, city, okay, it's 100. We see the coordinates, 112 by 32. So 112 from the left and then 32 from the from the top down. And the map is 150 by 40 squares. This game is about squares, not hexes. There's a resource here. Hmm, okay. So that's going to be useful because that means we can get supply. Supply lets us build stuff faster or offset what's called drain. If you have too many units, Everything takes longer to produce, but if you have supply, that will be offsetting that. Right now, this green up here says we can have 10 units without any drain. So that's good. But we don't have any units. How do I know? Well, I can go to my reports. We can go to the status report. Um, we have a city. That's it. If we go down here, there's a lot of units, a lot of things we can do. We can also go to, I think we can go to the... Order of battle here. If you go there and then click friendly units, nothing at all. One city, Jutland. No enemy cities, no enemy units, because we haven't seen them yet. There's a lot of buttons in the game. Don't worry about that. That just makes it easier to do things. Uh, you can enable other options. The game is very configurable. And for instance, if I go here to options, and I go down to... I don't think I want... Auto start. Yeah, we do auto start at the beginning of the game. Later on, maybe I'll switch that. I have enabled this one here. Use right click context menus. That is just to show you basically. Because all the options here you see on the map, um, as well, see here on the interface, they also have an option. If you right click, then you can select. And that might be more, might be easier while you're getting used to it. You can see Jutland, what can I do? Well, I can do production and I can do view units in this location. Production dialogue. Okay, so that's what's relevant for a city. Here we have everything for every unit. It's just grayed out if it's not relevant. So it gets difficult to maybe uh, take it all in right away. But don't worry about all this. Um, it's a turn-based game. We'll play it turn by turn and we'll see how it goes. I have auto end turn turned on, which means if we don't have anything to do, it's just going to keep on going. You'll see this number up here go quickly up if all we're doing is waiting for production. And at the beginning, that's what we're going to be doing. But for now, let's figure stuff out. So we know right away we have, see, hexes here. And we have shallows here. And down here it looks like we're going to have land. And there's a resource here. Let's keep that in mind when we go in and take a look at Jutland. It looks a little bit intimidating maybe, but uh, they really what you want to focus on is this left side here. And um, also there's a number here, 100. And 100 tells you how efficient it is, how quickly we can get more units out. And we have a lot of units. Since we are on an island, that means we have access to our ships as well. As well as everything else. Uh, nukes, carriers, heavy artillery, plain old infantry if you'd like. So, we'll talk about the game as we play it. Instead of going through every single option on the screen, uh, that kind of gets old. I've seen a lot of those tutorials and it's just overwhelming. Let's just jump straight into the game. Since we are on an island... What do we want to do? Well, I think we want to get off the island. That's pretty obvious. And I want to go down here. I would like to get that resource here. Hmm. 
not as critical as finding other cities we can take over and use to control, right? So how do I get off this? Well, I need a way to get across the water here. And to do that, you're going to find a couple things that's obvious. Here is a... Where is it at? Transport ship. Takes 30 turns. So you can get the blurb on the right there in this box here. What it can do. Basically, it's, uh, you know, it's not going to have really any offensive power. It can fight back, but it's not going to have much. And if you have a stack of units in there, they will all, you know, die if the transport is sunk. And it takes 30 turns. What else can we use to get across there? Well, we have something called a patrol boat. A patrol boat takes 18 turns. You can only hold one infantry unit. One portage point, if you'd like. An infantry unit costs two portage points. Uh, one portage point, so it can hold one. The transport can hold six portage points. And for an infantry, that means you could have six infantry units. If you have something that's heavier or bigger, like armor, it could hold less. So I'm thinking, to get quickly over to that other side, why don't we build a, a um, patrol boat here, place it here, and it can shuttle units back and forth. That's almost as quick as going for waiting for a transport, right? I mean, almost as quick to get them across, but with the added benefit, it's 12 turns faster to get it. So, if I hadn't seen land here, or this here maybe, or this uh, shallows, and just seen blue water, maybe what I would have done instead is get one of my uh, fighters here, or bombers, and let them explore. They have much greater range. They have to come back and refuel on, on your city. So, but since we have no land, I am going to assume there's going to be a connection here. We're going to guess. We're going to take a chance on that. And then also, let's keep in mind, we have the AI. The map is 150 by 40. I know they're not starting right next to us. I made sure of that on the map. But we could still have issues here. And we, you know, one day we just see this transport ship come rolling up with six armies on to take our city, and we're done. So it would be nice to get some kind of defense out here. Maybe a submarine, you know, take out those uh, transports. And those submarines can be at, uh, submerged. You know, so you won't, the transport ship won't see him. We'll just come in for the kill, basically. Not a guarantee, but pretty likely we will kill him. Keep that in mind, too. So there's a lot of stuff we want to do, but let's see what else we can find on this map. Let's go and get that patrol boat. So now I've selected it. It says right here, in production, from all my cities, all, all one, we are producing one patrol boat. Makes sense. And I'm saying here I'm going to produce uh, unlimited. Now nah, I don't want that. Let's just go for one. Once that's done, let's switch over to infantry. Now that's just a convenient way of making sure you don't get, you know, you lose a couple turns, auto end turn, and then it, oh, wait a minute, I'm not producing anything. By the way, if you're not producing anything, your efficiency level will go up. Well, that's always a good thing. That means these turns will go down. So, but meanwhile, you're not producing anything while you're waiting for that efficiency to go up. And once it goes up, it stays there. The only way to lose efficiency is if somebody attacks and takes your city. You lose 10% efficiency. Then you have to take it back, you lose another 10%. So yeah, you can see how that goes. All right, so we're gonna set and close, and that's gonna take uh, 18 turns. So when I go to the next turn, and remember, I have auto turns on, I'm gonna hit continue here. So to go to the next uh, active unit, there is none. Just gonna keep on spinning. Uh, the turns here until something happens. We see an opponent, we get a unit, uh, so let's hope the next thing we see is actually our patrol boat coming out. So now we can have, actually we can have eight. I think that number at the beginning is not totally accurate. Let's focus on eight. We can have eight. So let's go. You're gonna see it flash up here. Keep it on this number there if you can see it. Uh, turn is done, should you play on? That's the first time I ask you this, yep. Boom, you can see the numbers there, and now we're waiting for the other ones. De Balboa, Cartier, Tizarro, Drake. And it's my turn again. And we have production ports. Okay, so I said it was auto. Well, in this case, it's not 100% auto. I enabled an option that let it that have the game stop when we have a report. I want to see those. Production report. Well, I wonder what happened here. Let's go look at the production report. Jutland produced the first patrol boat. Yes, excellent. We can go and look here. Um, okay, so if we say friendly units, there it is. It's a C. It's ours. Nothing much to see here now, right? 
but it's inside Jutland. How do I know? Well, I can go look. We know from the report, but I can say here, view units in a city. And there it is. I can see a whole bunch of units here if I wanted to. If somebody takes the city, I would lose all of them. Not a good thing. So I can go ahead and activate that. Let's go ahead and activate it now. There's other stuff you can do as well, but we can activate it. So here you can see it. So our ship is here, and we get information about it. It has two movements per turn. So it moved two hexes two squares, but that's only in shallow water. How do I know that? Well, uh, there is a screen that you can go and look at all the units. You can't get to it, I don't think, from inside a game, but um, it will tell you all the little details. You can configure this game a lot. You can make your own units, you can change them all around, but in the enhanced version, this little guy, the patrol boat, has a movement point, has two movement points, but only in shallows. If it goes into deep sea, it's only one. It also has two hit points, well, two out of two here. And I happen to know it, that it only does one damage. There is a help screen. You can pull that up and you can see the different uh, units. I can show you one time here where, uh, where they at, what they look like. I don't tend to use this one. I have another monitor and I use that one because it gets kind of small here. So if I go here, units and descriptions, we used enhanced we go down here, enhance, if we go down to patrol ball, that gives you most of the information, not everything by any means. You have to go to the game and look at how the actual units configure. There's a lot of options for each unit, but all the important stuff basically is here. So it has two movement points. Uh, it can have one portage point, has one hit point, and does one damage. Well, it has one hit point. It actually has two, right? So. Uh, that is a little bit different from what it says here. Okay, so here's our ship. What are we going to do now? Well, we said we're going to wait for our infantry. How long is it before our infantry gets here? Well, the way we do that, we can check the city. But since I have a unit activated, if I were to click around on the screen, he's going to go there now. So what I want to do is deselect him by clicking on him. He's no longer selected. You can see here that we have a border around the continue button. That means that we have to click this to make something else happen. So now we can go in and look at Jutland. We can also just select this button here, production screen, if you like. Let's go back in here. Infantry, six turns to go. There's one thing to keep in mind here too. If you produce something, the next time you next thing you produce, if it's the same thing, you get a discount on how long it takes. So that is a very nice feature. I think it's is it twenty percent? It's a pretty significant discount. So, um, six turns to get the next one out, and I happen to know it takes five turns for the one after that. Now, how many infantry are we going to have? And the reason it's saying infantry, by the way, it's because I said before, produce the patrol boat, and then switch to, I said. So now, that's what's active. We're going to take, let's do three. I can do unlimited, it's fine, but if I forget about it, it's going to keep on producing. Remember, I only have seven left here? Hmm. What do we switch to after that? Well, that's hard to say, right? We don't know what we're going to find. But if we don't find anything, and we have the patrol boat, should I get something that I can go out and explore, like a bomber? Or should I protect my island of Jutland there? Because we could have the enemy come at any time. I've been burned many times here, actually, in my test game. So maybe a sub. The only one you can produce is surfaced. Doesn't mean anything. You can still make it go to Periscope Death and it gets a different name then. So it takes 24 turns though. Hmm. That is a long time to commit. I can change in the middle, but then I waste those turns, right? So maybe what I want to do is get a bomber. A bomber is pretty good. 12 turns. So we'll switch to that after. Oh, wait. Now I selected the wrong thing. You can see here. Now it says to do the bomber <coughs> first, unlimited. Now let's go back to infantry. We're not going to do unlimited, we're going to do three. And then switch to, when you get a different screen here, uh, we're going to go down to the bomber. Now I'm picking bomber over fighter. I'll show you here when it comes out. So we're on turn 19 now. <clears throat> we don't know anything about the opponent. And I think I am not quite done, right? Let's go find our patrol boat. Now it's going to be six turns. So this guy here can move. Deep sea, even though two movement is going to be one. 
Done. Turn 20 begins right away because I said autocomplete. Let's go down here. Okay, so here we have some terrain, clear terrain. Good for armored units. They move faster. They can move <clears throat> two, two squares if they move exclusively on clear terrain. Okay, so we used one of our two movements. We have one left. You can see here, by the way, load empty. There's nobody on board. Here's some snow. That's kind of like rough terrain. It slows down armored units. I don't think it has a modifier for combat. Hmm, I wanted to see a city, but we don't. Here is a forest. That is a, helps you if you are defending in a forest. I think for infantry, uh, for armored units, I'm not sure. Well, we can take a look at that in between episodes here and see what we, what what uh, what modifiers we have. So we have one movement or two left here now. Move up there. Okay, before we go on, up well, now they get to do their turn. Cartier, Pizarro. This is the way the game works. It, if if you're not within range, then I guess then it just does the turns for the other guys too. So let's me deselect this guy. Or actually, let's me select this one here. Production screen. By the way, if I have a lot of cities and I want to see what they're producing, I can click on this one here and I see ah they're producing inventory. Okay. So how many turns? Two turns to go. So we probably want to go back, actually. I'm going to select him again. One, two. Turn 24. So we go one. Now I can't go in here. You can hear that. Too many points. He only has one out of two million points left. It takes two to get in here. If, um, uh, as you uh, have already used uh, a movement point, you don't have enough to get in there. Production reports. Well, I wonder what that was all about. First inventory. So if you look at our cities now, there's one inventory in Jutland. And we do have two total. So that's excellent. Okay, so we can move him up now. Move him up there. And he moved his full movement. And now it switches automatically to our infantry here. First infantry. Full hit points has, only has one hit point infantry. Can only move one, but they can move in a lot of different terrain. And they can take advantage of some of that uh, defensive terrain. Let's go down there. As you can see here now, the icon changes a little bit. We have these little dots, little windows. That means it's loaded. And we do have, actually here, one infantry there. But where do we take it? Hmm. Well, we got to be back. If I deselect him and go back into the city, it's actually four turns to go here. We're going to build two more. So what if I just take him and drop him off here? So he has two movement points, goes into shallow, and then we'll say unload one. And it's all these buttons here. By the way, there is, you can do key binding for everything here. I've only bound one key and that is the skip, where is that? Skip unit K. I tend to do that a lot to skip you just want him to stay where he is but you don't want him to go to sleep you don't want to, you know do anything at all all right <clears throat> and you can see also here when you hover over that key is U. so if I just press U, I'm using the mouse here to show you instead what I'm doing instead of just pressing a button you can't really see it let's go ahead and unload so that's an order for the transport now we activate our infantry unit since we said unload where's it gonna go we can go here or here I think maybe here Okay, so how close are we to the end of the world? Remember, the world is wrapped around on an east-west direction, but not north to south. 112, that's east-west, and 35. It's 40, 40 from north to south, so we're really close to the southern portion of the world. And we had four turns to go, so I can probably afford to sneak down here. He has uh, one movement left. Okay, nothing there. And now he has two movements. Yep, turn 27. You can see that up there. Uh, we also have information here about the location you're currently at. Ah, now here we go. Great. Dominica. So this is a different city. As you can see, it's black and gray. It's neutral. So we know right away it's neutral. We have one white player, by the way. It looks kind of similar to this, but not exactly. So um, if you hover over that, you can see he's neutral, producing nothing. Efficiency 48. Doesn't mean you can take him necessarily. Still has defense. They could defend, so uh, my infantry may very well not take him. That's very possible. Now, how much longer before we get that unit? Three turns. So I can 
take him again. Move, oh, there are two cities here. Saint Gotthard and Dominica. The 41 and 48, by the way, well, you probably already guessed, that's the efficiency. In this map, I've set efficiency very low average. I think I set 50 with a variation of uh, 30 plus, 30 minus. So you get cities that are really poor at uh, creating units, unless you let them sit for a while and build up their efficiency. You, can, you know, your starting city is really good compared to them. So anyway, um, I'm saying we're probably going to go back. We're going to want to, you know what we want to do? We want to build more units, I think. More infantry, right? It's unfortunate now. Hmm. I built a patrol boat, right? Has one portage point. I cannot bring an armor unit over. Armor has two hit points. And they are much more likely to take a city. They take longer as well, though. So, you know. But you have to keep this in mind, too. The six. And um, while we t when we take more cities, that number will go up. So that's good. Uh, you can also use resources to make this uh, this number to go away as well i mean uh, be harder it'd be easier to maintain a larger uh, number of units with uh, with resources and more cities so go hand in hand let's go let me go back here okay those auto moves so now what are we going to do well i think i'm going to take my infantry here and bring him up and take dominica St. Gotthard is pretty low. None of them have any specialty. And I'll explain that later what that is. Alright, we're moving back. I could give an order there over oh, several turns, and he's moving back on his own. Okay, one movement. Here's our first combat. Let's see if we can take Dominica. Oh, that was lucky. We did take him. 43% review now. So, 43. It was 48. 10% down. Yeah, 10%. 43 average. So... As you can see, the armor took 12 turns in Jutland, 28 here. Oh, we have a choice to make. Do we want him to produce something when taking a long time to do it? Or have him first go up in efficiency? I'm thinking we should go up in efficiency. Remember, I set up the map so that we don't have to expect them maybe right away. I mean, it's that expanding AI, I think it's pretty aggressive so we can still see them. I mean, it's no guarantee. On the other hand, if I sit here, no production, how do I take this one? Well, I can ferry units over. It's good, but do I need more units? I mean, if nothing else, I can build units here and protect. But then I take away from the time that we need to bring up the efficiency. Oh, it's a tough choice, but I'm going to go for no production. And... Please alert me when we get to, yeah, what number should we get to? Well, they have a calculator here that makes it a little bit easier to determine how long you want to wait. So let's say we want to uh, we want to see how long it takes to get armor, maybe. that's Maybe it's a good place for armor. It looks like a bigger landmass there. So if production was nothing, then to get to 43, to 44 would be one turn. Yeah, to go from... 43 in efficiency, up 1. You can see if you wait all the way down here, 250 efficiency, which I think is max, takes 1,300 turns. We're not going to wait for that. But let's pick armor instead. So if I want armor in, let's say, 10 turns, maybe that's a good number. So that's this number here. The initial number of turns it would take to produce an armor unit. We want that to be 10. So the first time we produce an armor will be 10. Any subsequent turns, if we do them in order without interrupting it with something else, it would take 9. So um, that is 10%. You get, I guess you get 10%. But in order to get there, we need to have 115 in efficiency. Well, that's going to be a long time. Hmm. Hmm. I could go for something like this too, 11. Let's go for this one. We'll go for this one. It's going to be a long time. But we'll just sit tight, and this city... Yeah, so then switch to armor. This city is not going to help out taking St. Gotthard. It takes too long. We're going to wait for this Jutland to get that out instead. Maybe in St. Gotthard we'll, we'll figure out something else. So let's look at the map. Not producing anything, as you can see, and still producing infantry over here. So let's double-check that. Number to build, two. 
one turn we get one yeah we'll leave it at that switch to bomber hmm maybe not well we have to be careful we don't want anybody to take this city it's by far our best one we don't want to just pump out stuff and have two bad cities here all right so that should be it i think i'm done continue production reports oh we know we got the I'll show that again but we got second infantry and dominica has increased in efficiency to 44 well it gains one per turn that's why so now we can say continue here's our patrol boat but i want my my infantry well let's go ahead and wait one meaning we'll wait for one other unit we only have two so it's going to be the next one there it is let's jump on the patrol boat and then go down here and meanwhile we're building here yep four more turns so i'm gonna go ahead and select it and say unload and you can do attack so you look in the bottom right hand corner down here um base combat round odds 50 percent so it's a 50 50 chance because the city has one hit point and the second infantry will do one damage and that's all they do so we'll see if we can attack it and take it yes very lucky we've been taking two but we're down to 36 now so saint Gotthard is pretty bad shape right now i mean look at this how long it would take battleship 167 turns oh uh, that armor unit 33. now we have to bring it up so let's say we we're building we're building what are we building well we can press this button here minimize and we still have it here we can press that go back but we can see um uh, you can't select anything else, but you can look at the map and see how everything is set up or what's going on on the map. Um, we don't have any other units there. I'm a little bit worried about um, about our opponent. If I wait and do nothing here, but I think I have to. It's so low, 36%. Let's do alert and um, let's do the efficiency calculator again. I'm thinking maybe, you know, armored units in combination with some artillery. Let's go with maybe light artillery. How long would that be? So at 36 in efficiency, it's going to take 33 turns. That's an awful long time. Yeah. Again, if we do 10 turns, 115. But you know what? I'm probably okay waiting. Let's go up to, let's go up to 78. Let's do that. So we'll put that and then switch to light artillery. And that is that. That's th turn 31. We can have 13 units now because we're having three cities. Now, what about this guy? This is my only defense. One movement. I need to find out. Well, I'm building here. Should I switch? Yeah, that's my last infantry to build. Then I'll think what I'll do. Bomber. Now, bombers, let's, let's talk about bombers and fighters. Well, let's talk about that actually when we get one. We'll we'll keep the bomber there, I think. And I feel I should keep my, my patrol boat close by. If something shows up, it's not very effective. Even against transports, it's, I would say, 50-50 if you're going to defeat, defeat a transport. So I'll go here. Our armored unit's going to, or in our infantry's going to come out in one turn. Okay. So then we'll go down here. We've got a report. Uh, we can take a look at it again. Um, you can see here 4940. We're going up. I'm, I'm glad to see it. Producing a bomber now at Jutland. Excellent. Friendly units. Only one infantry, third one, and one patrol boat. Not much to write home about, right? But I do want to get it. So if I go out here, and the infantry unit is here, we can't do anything with it anyway. We're going to produce a bomber, and once the bomber comes out, let's talk about it. In the meantime, let's take our inventory unit. Let's do that. And then we'll bring him up, um, after turn 37, we'll bring him up here. Yeah, let's unload him here. There. And then I want to take my patrol boat. Let's just explore a little bit here. I think we'll put him on a patrol route here, maybe. Let's do that. Then there's a way to do that in the game. So you don't have to click uh, for a, you know, a path you want to take uh, repeatedly. Now look at that. Another uh, resource there. 
And by the way, how long do we have to go here? Seven turns. Okay. So if I go up here. Oh, there's more land there. Okay. Now this guy is here. I'm almost tempted to put him here on uh, sentry duty. If we do, we can see out. I think we can see anybody coming close by here. Maybe not ideal. Also nice to be find out if we have uh, other cities down there. I think I'll take a chance. It's risky. It's definitely risky doing this. Oh, we can't go there. Okay. Move down there. And you can see it's jumping around. If you don't want the map to kind of jump between the units, you can make it a little bit smaller. And now it shouldn't jump around. Okay. So our patrol boat should have decent vision around other units. Oh, it's big. It's a big landmass. Getting those uh, armor units would be nice. So if I say, if I go down here and there, and then we go down here. And I'm just basically exploring a little bit here and then going back, I think. Let's start to go back here. And moving up there. I haven't seen anybody yet. There. Okay, now, first of all, what do we have? We have snow. That's kind of like rough. Forest is good for defending. Swamp. Well, if you look here, there's a river. There's one little thing about patrol boats I didn't tell you. That is that they can travel on rivers. So I can go across here with a patrol boat. Pretty nice, depending on how the, flood, the rivers look. This is actually a river here, too. So I could go in here and then here and then here with my patrol boat actually so we're gonna head on back home and defend uh, we got a report and we got our first bomber okay bombers are super cool let's uh, take a look at them but let's do that next time guys I'm out of time join me here again later with more from Empire Deluxe combined edition